Hello, this is Mark. I'm going to explain one key factor that may prevent you from losing fat, and that would be cortisol. Cortisol is produced in the adrenal glands, and it helps regulate the glucogenesis cycle, which is needed for our survival. So upon waking, um, we receive a normal um, supply of glucose due to cortisol. Cortisol generally is highest in the morning, and then it decreases throughout the day. And cortisol is needed in sufficient quantities to suppress um, inflammation. However, due to the stress in our society, the demands that are placed on us every single day and the responsibilities that we have to partake in, we have uh, more external reactions that can create stress and that stress can indirectly cause inflammation in the body. And the cortisol will then be upregulated to try to mitigate the inflammation and, if it, and then it can eventually reach excess limits if we consume you know, too much caffeine or add on um, workout excessively or any any type of activity that can um, cause the demands of the adrenal gland or adrenal glands to increase significantly and um, cause an overburden will induce a stressful reaction and it will cause the body to go into overdrive and then the cortisol, like I said before, once it's upregulated to too high it can cause hormone imbalances for men. It can suppress testosterone levels, and testosterone levels are inherently proportional to the degree of uh, fat burning. So higher testosterone levels promotes um, fat burning capability, and so if cortisol gets too high and suppresses it, it negates that ability. So it's very important to find ways to mitigate stress and to ensure that inflammation is reduced because. Um, another factor though, it's um, a lot of people may, con if they consume too much uh, coffee for instance, that can cause um, the breakdown of muscle tissue because caffeine will, in excess, will increase uh, non-enephrine adrenaline and it will increase cortisol production um, as an inflammatory uh, reaction to inflammation and the body will, um, through the body in an inflammatory state will break down more muscle tissue and to create uh, glucose because cortisol combines with broken down amino acids um, to create glucose to support the demands of the body. Glucose is a source of energy and that will permit the need for um, the adrenal glands to try to resist the uh, stressful response. And you never want the uh, energy, uh, you don't want an energy shift in your body because once the energy shifts occurs and too much energy is diverted to the adrenal glands, then less energy will be, uh, or energy will be suppressed in other areas like the reproductive system. So if the stress hormone glands are in overdrive, then test testosterone and even female hormones, they will all be uh, suppressed. And then that's gonna cause your metabolism to shift and it will be harder to uh, burn fat. So it's definitely important to ensure that you find methods of de-stress, whether it's going outdoors, exercising, getting sunlight, just trying to maintain a positive mindset, be optimistic, because, you know, whatever, however the mind is affected, it translates within the body. So if you have a positive reaction, like if you're laughing, then you're gonna have a positive reaction in the body. If you're, if you're consuming food, alone it's going to be actually harder for you to digest if you're in a negative mood or you know you're not relaxed and generally by laughing and just being socializing because humans are social creatures it allows the body to be uh, revigorated and you know and relax in a relaxed state that facilitates the digestive process and that way the body can work more efficiently to help mitigate stress because anytime it's offset it can cause a, a vicious cycle and it's very hard to get out of that cycle. And yeah, that one, a few ways to lower cortisol. One uh, supplement that has proven to lower cortisol is ashwagandha or Indian ginseng. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen, um, so it allows the body to become resistant to stress. It nourishes the adrenal glands. It also nourishes the reproductive and the thyroid glands of the body, just overall gland, glandular system. And it's, it's been extensively studied and it's um, one of the most studies or herbs out there um, that has proven time after time to 
um, lower cortisol levels, especially after excessive resistance training and other um, ways of um, attaining <clears throat> stress. Another method to lower cortisol production is to consume sufficient vitamin C, B vitamins, and magnesium. These nutrients are needed to support the demands of the adrenal glands. Without these nutrients, the adrenal glands are going to be in a chronic state of stress and they're going to take away from the reserves of the body to compensate. And then this is going to cause a host of other problems leading to inflammation, um, digestive issues, and it's going to cause the body to degrade. So it's very important to get an array of nutrients through a broad diet. Um, extra, we, have more, we have open to more um, products nowadays, however, due to pesticide production and poor practices, the nutrient levels have been diminished. However, we have access to multivitamins. Um, it's ideal to consume a natural multivitamin rather than synthetic. Uh, my belief is that anything that is synthetic and has been altered in any such way um, is very difficult for the body to process. Additionally, anytime you change the structure of a food product or a supplement on a microscopic scale, it's going to cause a host of problems within the body because the body has not yet adapted to the change in processing. Um, over so many years, our body ha has, is acclimated to consuming natural products. Only recently, with industrialization, have we created these synth synthetic problems and then researched and tested the products to determine the toxicities. But we do not have the full knowledge or understanding of the dose or wherever the threshold is met and where the limit is such that the body reaches a toxic response. So naturally you want to consume products that are out in nature and not any time. If you do con consume synthetic, just be aware and know the limitation and, and know um, that it could be potentially uh, be toxic to the body and, and, and under, you got to research and um, ensure that it is safe to take. Um, Anytime there's genetic mutation or modification, it definitely is harder for the body to process. That's just my belief. It's through the process of adaptation, which is a survival mechanism. Lastly, for lowering cortisol, it's very important to get enough sleep. Sleep is very important to recharge the body, including the stress glands. And um, sufficient sleep has been proven to mitigate stress and um, improve brain functionality in the brain controls the whole organ system, including the stress glands. So definitely important to get enough sleep for your body's demands. Um, and if you are stressed, you're actually going to require more sleep. Um, and also it's very beneficial to get a pet, a dog or so forth, um, cat, any, any pet will help, um, manage your stress levels and provide a way to, uh, it actually has been proven to lower blood pressure and just keep you, uh, away from seclusion. Anytime you seclude yourself in any form, that's going to cause uh, stress indirectly and lead to uh, increased cortisol levels over time. It's very important to go out and socialize, have fun, enjoy yourself and be productive. Um, try to strive for goals um, and maintain a balanced lifestyle.